This video, I'm going to show you the best man beating concept in Madden 24. We're using the play PA boot over out of Gun Bunch tight end in the Packers offensive playbook. Now, what we're going to be showing you is, like I said, one of the best ways to beat man coverage. We're going to run this with our bunch to the short side of the field. And this is a concept that you can actually apply really to any formation, but it's really effective, especially if you have a tight end apprentice. So what we're going to do is we're going to zig our middle trips receiver. We are going to slant our inside trips receiver, and then we are going to post our tight end. This is known as the slant post concept, and it's truly probably one of the best ways to attack main coverage because pretty much every route on the play is going to consistently win and get you some separation against main coverage. You see right there, one of the most important routes in this play and one of the most underutilized routes is this little whip route over here on the right. Now, one little thing that I did want to recommend is if you know for a fact, like you are not guessing, you know for a fact that they are in man coverage, I like to go ahead and put this um, circle receiver on a, a drag route. And the reason why is just because it's going to be a little bit more consistent in terms of how it is going to consistently beat man coverage. Or if you even wanted to, you could put the B receiver or the circle receiver on a whip route, and then you could put the slot on the drag. And you see here, it creates kind of a natural pick natural rub, and then we're able to go and get the separation. So you can kind of freestyle a little bit with this. Um, I really like the, I really, really don't like this year, this crossing route to B or circle. He just doesn't beat man for me as much as he has in years past. So that's why I would really like to recommend to either slant him or drag him uh, depending on the coverage. Now, the reason we like to slant him is if they, for whatever reason, um, decide to run zone coverage. As you see right here, the slant is also a little bigger of a potential play um, against man coverage. Now, uh, one little kind of underrated thing that you can do with this play is if you want to go ahead and run the whip and the drag, you can then put the running back on a wheel. The spacing will kind of allow you to do so. And so what you'll see when you do that is you'll get this kind of man switch and a lot of times the running back has a good chance uh, to be able to get over the top against man-to-man. -man. Another thing that you can do with the running back, because we are in a game right now where you can easily send five out and not really have to worry about pressure, is just put him on a basic uh, flat route, table route, or out route to create better spacing uh, for your slant when he comes across the field. As you can also see, the tight end post absolutely destroys uh, man coverage. So your opponent is going to have to drop some zones on the field. And oftentimes that's going to result in them taking the safety off of the out of the middle of the field. And when they do stuff like that, because you have this deep skinny post coming from a compressed set, it's pretty effective at being able to beat isolated one-on-one -on -one man coverage over the middle for a big play. Now, what's cool about the slant post concept is it is not only good against man, uh, but it is also really effective against zone coverage. The slant route this year, even though slants are basically probably the worst they've ever been, it is still one of the tried and true methods for you to be able to attack zone coverage consistently, uh, whether they are in hard flats or curl flats or whatever. You'll see these little pockets where we can kind of fit in the, the slant route. And it's a really, really important route to have in your offense because when you can get your opponent to have to use her the slant route, it's going to open everything else up. So you'll see here they're going to stay down on the slant, and then we're going to throw this post kind of right over the top of the yellow zones and over the top of the flats right in that little window uh, over there. So you're going to see also another coverage that you'll get from time to time is a traditional kind of cover too. And that's where this whip route really can roast these cloud flats. If they're not double flatting or double mabling, then you're going to be able to attack them uh, with these curl flat zones. And so then we're going to kind of walk the opponent into a defense they probably don't want to be in because they're going to have to have a middle third defender uh, to take away the post. They're going to have to have the flat. And then now if you take a look at all this, they have to have this flat zone. And you see how it's just a lot of stuff they have to be able to do defensively to even have a chance at stopping this concept. And if they sit down on the slant, you're still going to be able to throw this post before it gets to the cloud flats and possession catch it just like that. The slant post concept, super effective for beating every kind of defense in Madden. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire bunch tight end offensive guide, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be down in the description below.